Hey there, fellows. Well, it's been a little while since we've done something outlandish, since we've attempted to, to put a car to sleep. Amazingly enough, it's another Honda in this one. Anyway, um, Honda it is then. So right here we have this lovely Odyssey with an F23, which is a nice little engine. And we've been getting requests for quite a while now, like, you should try this out. The idea is to simply drop the motor oil, flush the system, replace the oil filter, just to have a dry one in there, and check out what we'll be pouring in instead of motor oil. I've got me an assortment of various nifty oil additives, and we have gone all out. We've got pretty much everything in here, starting with big brand names, ones that aren't quite as big. We pretty much just went to a store and grabbed everything we saw on the shelves. It's a pretty diverse lineup. Now, the idea is to take all of these oil additives and pour them into a big bottle. We'll go ahead and mix them up, pour the cocktail into this here engine, and just beat the crap out of it. We have an engine, the oil additives. So let's make this happen and see how the engine feels about this. Let's do this. Running an engine on oil additives, what'll happen? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, let's have a look and see how this operates. Give it some gas. Yeah, no need to even explain anything. This pretty much speaks for itself. More, please. What's that flying out of the tailpipe? Eh, whatever, let's just call it condensation. This generates quite a bit of smoke. Yeah, very nice indeed. That was a lot of smoke. Switch it off. And now we know that this engine is a heavy smoker. Okay, now it's time to administer a compression test. Put to the floor and let's go. That'll do. Stop before everything blows. And that's almost 16 kilos. One might say that it's a great result, but it's really not. The simple explanation for it being... That's oil compression. The cylinder walls are smothered in motor oil. Which is why the reading is what it is. And that is a solid 15 and a half. That's enough, stop. That'll do. Same thing in here. Yeah, that'll do. Hmm, going downhill. That's 14. Not bad. Enough. And that's another 15. Now we drop the oil, replace the filter, mix the additives and pour them into the engine. I mean, we have anti-smoke treatment additives, or boosting compression. Let's see how much of a boost we can get. Or reduction, or nothing at all. Hey, let's pour them in and see. Okay, so we just dropped the oil, and from the looks of it, guys, the quality of this oil, well, I mean, going off of how it looks, yeah, I reckon we'd better flush the engine prior to pouring in the, the additives, because this is just, yeah, this looks pretty bad. More like tar than motor oil. Oh, so you bought it, changed the oil, and have been topping it off ever since? Nah, man. That can't be true. Anyway, the point is, we'd better flush the engine. 
because this just looks horrible. I'm afraid it won't make it far on the additives. Okay, the mixing bottle is ready. Time to start pouring all of this in. All of these oil treatment additives. And immediately I can tell you this is anti-smoke without a... Um, without a single doubt, this has to be it. Wait, what? Gotta squeeze it until it pours out. Oh, this one's nice and runny. And prior to pouring it in... I gotta shake it, I guess. Now, honestly, we're not advertising any of these compounds, especially in a negative way. This is simply an experiment, where we are using everything we could find. We're just curious to see if the engine can run on just additives instead of motor oil. Okay, the next one is... Oh, look at that! It's not necessarily sour cream, I'd say it's just cream. Excellent, we got that in. Let me get the next one. Oh, wow. I have no idea what that is. Something of unknown consistency. Open and pour. Fantastic. It's like chemistry class all over again. Using everything we got, despite being warned not to. Let's pour that in as well. Very nice. That'll do. Excellent. And we also have this weird compound. Let's pour that in as well. And another tiny bottle. In it goes. Here's some more. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Excellent. Now I need a mixer. Shake, but don't stir. Thoroughly mixing it very nice. Great, I've mixed it. And fundamentally, this does look like oil. This is quite, um, greasy fluid. Now, additives are obviously added to oil. You are not meant to pour them neat. But that's exactly what we'll be doing, to see what happens. Okay, so there's... Our super mega conditioning restoration cleaning anti-smoke compound, it is ready. Let's pour it in and go for a drive. See what comes out of that. Okay, let's add this killer restoration brew that we've created. Yeah, we had to whip out a big funnel. A smaller one wouldn't have worked. What do you think the pressure is going to be? It'll be high. You think it'll be high? I think this is going to overwhelm the reduction valve. Imagine this actually restoring the engine. Okay, we are ready for the interesting part. It is time to start the engine and see where the oil pressure is going to be at initially. Go for it. The light is out, excellent. The system was quickly primed, and we have oil pressure. It's all good, but let's allow it to run, at least for a little bit. We'll let it warm up and head out. We should give it some load right off the bat, for this to render a 107% effect. Okay, it's nice and warm. Give it some gas. More, please. Yeah. 
there's more condensation, but just as much smoke. I see. The smell's kind of... I think it has more of a gasoline smell now. Somehow. Doesn't quite smell like oil. But okay. Now let's go for a drive and see what happens. And here we go. Let's see how this thing behaves on the move. Right? Mr. Honda owner? Don't worry, I can feel its size. We had a good 7 millimeters left. 7 even? Well, maybe it was 6.5? 7.5? I'd say so far so good. The car is moving, we are looking good. That was me pushing the gas. That was slightly premature. Your drive is alright, I don't know why you were worried. This rev's great, awesome! Wait, um, oh, there's the gear shift. Okay, what do you know? You'd got up to five grand, that's something. Should I punch it? All right, punching it. I can't shake off that Toyota that's following us. No matter what I do, must be running a powerful engine. A Honda can't outrun a Toyota? Is that even a thing? Now, I don't know what's going on, but the engine seems to be operating perfectly normally. I mean, wasn't it behaving about the same before? So it'd seem as if nothing has really changed. I can see smoke. What's going on? I think it's actually emitting less smoke than it was before. Oh, not as much smoke? Well, when you gave it some beans on Volochayevsky Street, the plumes coming out of the tailpipe were two-stroke levels of bad. It seems to have gotten better. Like a two-stroke motorcycle, you say? I see. That means the treatment is going very well indeed. We might even be getting somewhere. Let me try that again. What's up? I can see a trail, but it's not too bad. So apparently the smoke is slowly disappearing. Oh my goodness. Did you hear what just happened? Yeah, I did. I thought it was the tram hitting something. Nah, man, that was a bang from your exhaust and a bunch of black smoke. <laughs> Wait, there was a bang followed by black smoke? Yeah, there was black smoke. It was as if you blew a turbo. <laughs> nope, all we could have blown was the VTAC. And that apparently happened a while ago. Okay, shall we drive to the right? And I'm gonna step on it. Yeah, there it goes, I can see it. There it goes? Is it smoking? It is, there's blue smoke. Blue smoke? For crying out loud, I thought the color would change at least. Okay, what the hell was that? I saw a flame. Flames coming out the muffler? Yes, indeed. Wow, neat! This Honda has begun to... And there it is again! It's shooting flames from the exhaust. What's that all about? That was a literal blue cloud. Yeah, even I saw a huge plume in the mirror. Another plume, holy cow! Hell under control. Why isn't the engine getting any better? It's on and off. Shouldn't it get well, cease to smoke, and drive much better? Like, become really fast and even better than from the factory. Many times better. That's a lot of smoke. Like my two-stroke motorcycle. <laughs> like your two-stroke motorcycle? Okay, well... Now I'm seeing gray smoke. Yeah, I can't quite make out what's happening back there. Oh, the Mark II has decided to have some fun. Was he trying to... Well, yeah. We're having a good time out here.
Так. Вот это отстрел! That was impressive. Okay, so we're back. And the sound. What just happened? What, did that scare you? I was waiting for it to fire off, and it did. In terms of engine operation, uh, nothing has changed. I mean, when it comes to... New noises developing on this end, or old ones disappearing. The one thing you can probably hear is a slight... A slight camshaft rattle, albeit it is barely noticeable. You can definitely hear the valves chattering, and they are quite noisy. Otherwise, that's about it. I'm not noticing any other abnormalities. There weren't any before, and nothing new has come up. And that's good. Okay, let's allow it to cool off. We'll do a compression test out of curiosity, and see if there are any changes. Hit it. That's enough. That's a... half a kilo drop and forth. That's enough. Up to 16 from 15. That'll do. Once again an increase. Of half a kilo. Enough. No changes in cylinder number one. So this might have even had a... Some kind of minor effect. I don't get it, what's happening with the engine? Then, I mean, we didn't drive far. We could let it sit and run. Or even better, we can try the following. You do want to go home today, right? Why don't you drive around today, tomorrow morning? When you get back, we can try something else. And we'll do another checkup. That's the way to go, I mean, this needs to drive around town some more. And if the engine ceases, you can give me a call. <laughs> what else do you want me to tell you? Okay, guys, here's where we're at with this. Yesterday the car uh, drove around some more, to the tune of over... This thing drove for over a hundred more kilometers. And those weren't necessarily easy, mind you. You could say it was getting caned, engine revving to redline, the pedal was pretty much always in close proximity to the floor, traffic lights notwithstanding. Plus it spent a bit of time on the highway. And what's really interesting is that... You can start it. It runs. I mean... I just... how? Okay, why don't we go look for potential changes in the back? We'll rev it and observe the smoke. Because when moving at higher speeds, you can't always keep track of what's going on. I don't quite get what I'm looking at. Enough! And there you go, we're redlining it, it's smoking. I feel as if there's even more smoke than before. No changes in the compression and what have you. And the additives got it smoking even more. But here's what I suggest we do. Let's lift it up, drain the fluid, see what it looks like. We'll then pour in regular motor oil. Go for another drive and see whether engine operation has gotten any better. Well, in terms of the smoke it produces. I mean, it might stay the same. Okay, well, let's get to it. Right, guys, check this out. We've poured in a thicker oil, a 10W40. The reason behind that being, well, given the engine survived, we'd like for it to live on for a little bit more. As for what we've drained from the engine... It's not so much oil, I mean... It's obviously oil-based, 
and this has changed color, having apparently flushed out some of the sludge. It is now very dark. It was dark brown to begin with, at this point it's almost black. And it's very thick. Why that is, well... I doubt this will come as a surprise to anybody. But the anti-smoke compound that we added to the mix and was a component in this oil additive cocktail. It's essentially a thickening agent for motor oil. And the thicker the oil, the less prone it'll be to burning. Now the actual uh, motor oil that we're using is slightly thicker than it should be. A 10W40 as opposed to a 5W30. And it's in there. Now it's time to take this thing out for a drive and see what comes out of it. Okay, we're ready to go. Time to go for a drive, right? Is that right, Mr. Honda owner man? Are you ready? I'll put my belt on once we're at the gate. I don't need one in here, right? Oh, there I will, though. Any predictions as to where we're at and what's going to happen? The engine should be feeling good. With the clean oil that's nice and fresh. We're giving it a treat. Well, hopefully it's not so delicious that it'd want to eat it. But then this is slightly thicker, we should be alright. Here we go! You know, whenever you do something to an engine, it always feels like it got better. I mean, I genuinely feel as if it accelerates better. I'd say things have gotten better, but I did see a plume when you let off the gas. Again. Hey, at least there are no more bangs. It wasn't banging yesterday either when I was driving it. It feels like it has more power. Though I'm probably tricking myself into thinking so. It might actually be true, Vlad. Why so? I'm having to press the gas harder. You're pressing the gas harder? Yeah. Having trouble keeping up? Not keeping up with the Honda? I could if I wanted to. We have a wager? Yeah, he is catching up to us. The car does feel punchier. But then whenever you do something to your car, you're always under the impression like, uh, wow, this thing rips. That is a smokescreen. That is very bad, look at that. I suppose it'll stop doing that? Give it some gas? Just a bit. Sure thing. Just a bit. Nah, it's smoking. And that was a bang. Yeah. What's going on? My head is feeling... Can't see the road? Yeah. Nice one. Holy cow! That was a lot of smoke back there. Oh my goodness. You're doing that on purpose for us to suffocate. Yeah. No, I mean... Did you see that? Yeah, we get the picture. We know what time it is. Nothing has changed, but then what do you expect? After all, this wasn't really... the point of this experiment. We simply wanted to see what the engine would do if you replaced the oil with additives. Without the oil itself. This is not the way to do it, since additives are meant to go with oil, which we didn't use. We poured them in neat, albeit some of those were oil-based, well, I'd guess so anyway. I'm not 107% certain, but the engine worked pretty well. It ceased to pop at one point. Otherwise, we saw marginally improved acceleration, and at the end of the day, nothing else really happened. Not like something was supposed to, as the point of the experiment was different. No oil, just the additive, see what happens. And the engine lived through it. 
It's still running and we can go have a listen. It's running like brand new. Everything works, it's all good and well. And I actually got a proposal for you. If we're subjecting this engine to experimentation, well... What do you guys think? What can we do with such a bulletproof Honda motor? Why is it bulletproof? Anyway, watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to send in your requests for this engine. All right, catch you later.